Oh, I knew it. Finance and career, heart to heart conversation and deception. Oof. Oh, goodness. So some of you may be focusing more on other things. Some of you, this is because finance and career was actually, I mean, 3D world. Anytime this card to me, it has to do heavy on finance career. It has to do heavy on your 3D aspect. So either someone was too occupied in terms of what they prioritize in their 3D world, where it was more about money. You could have had a gold digger. Who knows what the case may be. This is affecting some, you know, this is affecting finance and career. Someone was either too focused or someone was too greedy. Heart to heart conversation and deception. You know, this probably led to a lot of the upset. I don't know why I'm getting this energy of a person who just... I don't like this energy, Leo. But it feels like um, for some of you, this person just didn't have their priorities straight and um, had high expectations financially. I don't think this person's priorities were in a, in a in a good place. So I think this is an energy of someone who need, needs to reprioritize their priorities and things that actually matter. Um, we have um, make an effort and unrequited love. So someone, you know, there was a lot of effort por put towards this connection, but it, nothing was really reciprocating. It wasn't going anywhere. Um, maybe for some of you, for some of you, this can be a case where someone was not in pursuit of anything and the fears of a codependent energy was an issue here right which is deceiving you know maybe coming to terms after a while where someone would say i'm gonna work on this yes i'm gonna build and then three months pass six months pass and they're doing nothing it's deceiving and so you know as much as you had conversations and you thought you were having honest conversations they were lying you know they really weren't trying to change anything here so um i'm picking that up for, for a lot of you guys okay so let's see what else is the overarching energy for this reading Ugh, I already see it, you guys. Like, Nine of Cups fi flipped. Fulfillment of wishes. Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. Sometimes it's come across as a selfish energy. So patience and planning. So, I feel both. Someone was a giver and someone was a taker. So all the patience that was given to this person, and I feel chances... Um, it just wasn't working out. Crown chakra and then spiritual union. This is the two of cups here. So could this work out? Yeah. You know, if you guys can get on the same page and then someone could actually, you know, can you guys make the effort and actually maybe turn things around? If your person or whoever that energy is reprioritizes their you know focuses more on their morals and principles of things that actually matter to them then this this can go in the right direction you know it's obviously been something that you both committed to for some time it's a minor thing even though finance if, if this has to do with actual money issues in the relationship it is a big factor in any real long-term commitment. For things to last, you both have to be honest in terms of your goals and your aspirations and where things are going because you can't lie about that, right? I, I laugh at this crown chakra because it says number seven and there's that, that thing where they say the seven-year itch in a long-term relationship with that by year seven, things fall off. You have another seven here. So all this planning for some of you, you guys may have been together for seven years and that seven year itch kept, kicked in and you realize my person is not making any changes. So let's see this patience and planning. I swear to God, it's going to be more pentacles. This feels like a lot of, you know, trying to fix their lives. Wow, so fire sign. So even better. King of Wands, Page of Wands. Leo, this could be you. So again, this is a passionate person. This is a go-getter. And you've been doing things and operating and taking the lead and taking initiatives. And maybe you're prioritizing your life and releasing this, this relationship because this person isn't in alignment with your wand energy, right? And pursuing and 
in um, building in progression. What I see is progression, you know, four swords. You've been waiting for so long. And yeah, ten, there goes that ending, I'm telling you. That's like, what's going to come out of this? So, you know, whatever that progress is, that desired progress is what's holding the 3D life back. So give me my fulfillment of wishes. Oh my God, that four swords. <laughs> uh, God, Leo's. And there was that devil. So this is what I'm saying. This is a combination of things, right? There's a selfish energy here of someone only caring. The morals and principles to me has a lot to do with this energy. This person uh, had you waiting. Devil energy, you know, you've got the world and temperance. I mean, how much more patience do you give someone for a cycle to change, right? And like I said, some of you have been together with for seven years and this could be like year after year, they keep telling you and nothing happens and nothing changes. And it's like, oh my God. So you're taking matters to your own hand as this embodying your element, King of Wands, this fire energy. And you're like, listen, it is what it is. That's, I really feel an energy, Leo, where you're like, I don't care. I don't care what you have to say anymore. If it's not going to come with actual physical proof, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth, right? Justice could be, again, the clarity, fair. This person is not going to be fair and just and actually truth, honest, right? Justice is about integrity. Um, with Ace of Swords combined, that's, you know, so let's see this crown chakra. Six of Cups, right? Yeah, this is the commitment. You guys have been together for a long time. And it's hard. I know it's hard, but it's like, what do you do? Six of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah, Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. What do you do? You know, you, you've committed to your person. You know, they're... You know, when it's good, it's good. But it's been more bad because they arrived to this point where... You see the chariot, there's no progress. And it probably feels like you're moving solo. And, you know, three of swords, it's been brutal because of the constant delays and no, no progression, wheel of fortune. You're given the separation allows for progression. You're not fooling yourself anymore, seven of swords, right? They can offer you the whatever, and it's so small, page of pentacles. And it, it, it may be temporary, right? They give you... They showcase you on a physical level. Yeah, this is my change. But then hidden behind that, then they do nothing. Because you go back to the Seven of Swords. You're back to this Three of Swords. The delays, the conversations. And it's like at this point, is it an illusion? Are you, You're deceiving yourself. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how much do we deceive ourselves? You know, um, that energy I was picking up where... You know, you could have this conversation with your person for so much. And it's like, when do they take these initiatives? Now, at this point, are you lying to yourself? So here we have two of cups. And this just really, to me, signifies your union and how much you tried. Yeah, two of pentacles. It's difficult. Someone's definitely having a challenge here. Um, You know, there is a challenge here. Yeah, strength and queen of swords to detach. Um, so right now, because we've got two of pentacles, someone's like really the resisting of breaking away from this energy, queen of swords. You guys could be dealing with a Aries, um, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you got your own energy here, Leo. You've got Cancer, Capricorn, um, but strong fire, also another fire, Sag, and Aries. I just say Aries. So I just think this has been challenging, and you have to lay out some serious boundaries, Leo, because your your energy is here, and you have to embody this Queen of Swords. But at the same time, you're so iffy because you see your person as the Two of Cups. 
and it's one of those things someone's really struggling with this um that's fear that is fear leo and it's also fear to think about things um because you it's it you know shedding emotions is doesn't happen overnight and for a lot of you this has been happening for quite some time some of you are already in full-blown queen of swords and you're like i'm done but because the two of pentacles here it leads me to believe they're still you know they're still you know clarifying the two of cups they're still you're not your heart's not fully done you know because too much has been invested and we're on this queen of swords yeah this queen of swords is just you're tired <laughs> you're tired you know it's one of those things it's like you've carried this burden for so long like i'm really feeling the pain here in terms of like how much more do we have to say what do you need and at this point we can't help this devil energy right can we run this devil energy i just feel like you can't fix this person's problem tower yeah you got you had to take it down here on this devil energy nine of wands dear god and the conversation page of wands because we have the page of wands here and king of cups you guys could be dealing with the water sign so i feel like this had to do probably with a an altercation so it was like a, a final discussion like it was like it was one of those talks that literally went south and it took it was the tower it was just it was the, it was the pivotal moment of this connection because it, it was almost like an emotional self-realization that this is never going to end like I'm going to have, I'm going to repeat myself for another fucking, I don't know how many years. Sorry. I'm feeling this for whoever this is. I'm going to pull. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to pull. I don't know why I keep doing to my, this to myself. What is the shadow of this person's spirit? This may not resonate for everybody, but this deception. What is this deception? And what is the shadow for this connection? So we've got the past. They've they're lying about their past, something worth looking into. You've got manipulation. They'll they'll let you speak first to look for weaknesses and establish a baseline. Oof. And I feel like that's that constant. So you're realizing they're I feel like to me the past, they're lying, they're lying about their past, something worth looking into. I think to me this feels like an energy of manipulation of over time. And it takes a while to catch on to start. Sometimes, you know, your commitment to your person as you start to view your past and see like this, that's why I'm picking up this energy, like this has been so much. They've been doing this for some of you, they've been doing this for some time. And when you speak, like they'll try to find ways to manipulate the dialogue and make it, you know, play victim. Living in the past could be, could be they haven't gotten over an ex or something from the past is affecting your union secrets. So this could be for some of them an attachment they had in the past. But this person had something about the past because it's emphasizing the past. So to me, the past created a behavior pattern in your person. And you're not going to know that until you're with your person for a while. That's, you know, that's, that's the common issue that happens with, you know, people. And so this person had a way of hiding it for so long, but you've, I feel you've caught on. Like you've caught on nine of wands that the communication, things weren't going to change. It didn't matter how much you guys talked about things the progress was very slow all right so let's see let's see some more blockages for what are more blockages for this connection Oof, my God. all the readings have been so so heavy about an ex so here we have third party though they have a secret there's a lot about secrets so some of you maybe your person had a third party um but this again living in the past this could just be the third party this is could this could be something reflecting 
of the past that they keep lingering on, energetically holding on to, that has created to me, it feels like a behavior pattern in your person that it's not you, it's them. It's literally that. And so go, because you you, you can't, your, your person's past is not your business. It's not your obligation to help them move forward. It's just not. Um, that goes for everybody, right? We have to take accountability and ownership of our past. And if we're going to bring that along every connection, then why, what are we doing here looking at tarot, right? Why are we looking at tarot for if we're going to sit here and live by the past, right? So go outside, breathe and escape the traps of the mind. Nature nurtures. There's a need to take a step back um, and really think about things here, Leo. So, you know... Um, I think you're done. You're you're you've been burdened. I think you need to listen to your intuition more often, uh, and the efforts you've put don't feel guilty. Leos tend to like really stay in relationships longer than they need to out of loyalty, and I've seen this a lot in Leos. You know where they tolerate poor behavior, especially if you know. Leos, you guys have a big heart. You know, when you love someone, you love deep. All right, so let's see what your guidance. Prayers, yeah. Your angels and spirit guides have seen your struggles and are urging you to pray for guidance. The divine can only guide you when you specifically ask for their help. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, let's see one more, Leo. Give me another guidance here for our Leos. Leos, I can't. All right, Leos, we're going to take it because apparently there's, I think it's because there's quite a few of you for sure. Y'all need a different message. Um, and Mercury retrograde is here and we're in full moon of cancer, Leo. So there it's, it is intense energy, you guys. So soft, we have soft here. It takes courage to stay soft in a world that can be hard. There's strength in my vulnerability. You know, I love that we see this because we do have your strength card here, Leos, and this always embodies you, right? And so we're talking about all you here, courage, strength, and your vulnerability. And when you love, like I said, when you love, you love hard. So, and we have the word hard here. So it takes courage to stay soft in a world that can be hard. There is strength in my vulnerability. You love hard and, you know, sometimes see people see those who love you, see that softness in you and will will pull the strings as long as you allow them to. So although it's it takes strength to be vulnerable, don't let this ruin you. Um, vulnerability is beautiful. So it's just one of those things where this just strengthens you more versus going to your shadow right the reverse of the strength going into your shadow where you know it, you lose your um your confidence it makes you more um harsher and uh, you know like you know you don't want to live off your shadow smiley -o. so rocky road when the road gets rocky <coughs> ooh, throat chakra you guys <coughs> I feel like something went in my throat that it's like a truth that needs to be told for sure. So when the road gets rocky, overcome it or find a new path to your destination. So again, this is about decisions and you have a decision to make. That's why for some of you, that's why this two of pentacles can be hard because, you know, um, some of you may have made your decision, but some of you are obviously if I'm getting this reading is because not everybody has made a full decision. It's still in your energy and it's still living in your heart. Um, and if you clicked on this video, it's because it's still living in your heart. 
self-love. I've spent so long outside of my body that I've forgotten how soft and strong she really is. She welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. Yes, you got to have your self-love. That's exactly what this strength is. And we're talking again about softness, right? How soft and strong. So again, don't let this ruin your confidence level, um, Leo. Remember, there's a difference between your confidence and pride. You know, we again, we don't want to become the shadow. We want to just still be able to stay soft even when things like this happen in terms of strength and find strength. And then what? Oh, this is why my throat went off. We have to learn to be more vocal and find strength also in our voice. And that's being honest about these connections, just like I'm doing this reading. You know, not everybody can handle my form of readings because of the tough love I do give. Um, but that's strength. My voice is strength. And there, I, I, it stems from no ego or pride. It stems from the comfort of my vulnerability that we all go through this, that we all have to learn these lessons. But if you allow it to live in your shadow, then you, you, you really take more away from your freedom. And when I speak, I, I speak from freedom. I, free, I speak from a place of liberation and I speak from a place of self-love, right? I spent so long outside of my body that I forgot how soft and strong she really was. She welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. And when you know your home, then no one can take that away from you. And then we have moonlight. I bathe in moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay. At this very moment, I'm right where I need to be. And I feel this, indica this is, um, indicates the Cancer moon and the Mercury retrograde that right now, whatever energy you're feeling, you're right where you, you, you need to be. And it's a mirror and it's showing you lots of things. And for a lot of you who are still transmuting and resolving your yourselves and your hearts, you know, this use this reading as an intuitive nudge, you know, or guidance to help you guide you through this path and to get clarity. So I'm gonna leave it there, Leos. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.